Hey, it's uh, Kev Kild here. Decided to do a video in regarding to Inspire, the famous pub skill that a lot of people praise upon and it should be mandatory for public games. So I'm gonna go over lots of things where I can say yes to that and no to that. So I got a little old video during the Infamy 3.0 update where I'm basically grinding with public lobbies, other people that join me, and so on and so on. So in this example, this guy thinks that Inspire is mandatory. Well, I'm going to be the bitch and say Inspire is not mandatory at all. And I will say that very frequently, especially during my streams and possibly other upcoming videos. Now, the reason why I don't say it's mandatory because you need damage, you need a comfortable build to work with, you need to create space for yourself and for your team to work with. So in this example, he wanted to say that Inspire is better than me, creating space with Sniper Grays, and I'm here to show you can run the game without Inspire whatsoever. Some builds include Inspire Basic, which I still think is good. Um, you can definitely run it without. I've had multiple people that join my lobbies, definitely run without it, and we have a fine time and we complete the mission normally without any problems. The thing is that folks need to understand is, if you're not comfortable with something you're working with, you're not going to be able to perform as well. And the thing is, a lot of folks think that Inspire is the literally best skill in the game. It's not. I can name a few right now off my build guide and DSOD guide and give you some examples as to why, but that's not what this video is about. You can definitely run without it, and I'm here to show that you can definitely do so. Now, getting towards the video, now we're showing the example, you know, why you shouldn't run Inspire. Um, I definitely agree it can be helpful, and it's definitely needed for some of the bullshit heists such as this one. Dude. Fair game. Jacket's dead. Oh, wow. What the fuck was that? That is like the smoothest run and then the most bullshit fucking bridge you could ever have. So yeah, showing that as an example, obviously the heist near the end is pretty unfair at times and that's probably one of the worst scenarios you can get. Lots of minigun dozers, other dozers, and things shooting you from a million miles away. Hooray! Without Inspire Ace, it definitely would be probably a failure. Since Prison Nightmare is a lot harder than Big Bang, this is where getting comfortable with your build and understanding are you good to do said heist without your said build. If you don't have Inspire, then it's probably a good idea to check can you run with it? Will this help your team succeed? Will it help you create space in case some shit happens? So you spend more time shooting and less time reviving manually or clearing the area just to get to him in a safe manner. As for the video being displayed, no one watching this needs to go pitchfork or witch hunt the guy. Um, he has definitely done some questionable things in said video, but this is not what the video is about. Um, again, YouTube's for entertainment, not for taking down other people's, you know, online activity. I don't know how to really put it, to be honest, but basically put... This is just more information for you guys. It doesn't have to be on every single build. Um, I, again, I think Inspire is great. It definitely helps for a lot of bullshit moments, especially that one we just saw. But again, that's per heist basis. Big Bank is probably a little bit easier than Prison Nightmare. So 
Here's just a nice example as to why. So just a quick little recap, if you're comfortable with your build, if you know the heist pretty well, if you're comfortable in dealing DPS, creating space and helping the team, especially for objectives, because I was running a DPS objective build as well. Nonetheless, if you're comfortable with all that stuff, then the rest is up to game sense and using your brain. And you can play fairly well. I, I can assure you that. Anyways, enjoy random commentary and other fun stuff. That's how you do it, boys. You throw a flashbang, clear as much as you can, and fucking go. Dead it. Buggers. What was that? Can I fucking hit something? Oh. I got more kills than all of them combined! And I did more objectives than them, what the fuck? OP. Has Kev Kill made a new build? Well, this is literally a solo build, so I think so. But the reason why I went this route is because we had two hackers on the team. Otherwise, I would have been fucked. Always look at team composition. Always, 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 always. You're dying. Uh, first assault, stand the fuck back. Dude, I can't save you. Can I? No, I can't. I can't save him. That's, uh, you fucked up. You fucked up. I, I have no inspire for that play. Yeah, that's a classic left for dead. Uh, with low level, sorry. What does he expect me to do? Do everything? Objective kills and... That would hit that. That would hit that. Oh, great visor shot. It's only two points. I mean, you can press tab and tell me who's doing better.
Can I, can I just kill? So I remember this guy now. He's a rude little bitch. What does Tab have to do with this? Oh, well. How many times is he down? Two. You don't have HUD? Oh, that's what happened. My fucking Joker died. That's what happened. That's why I asked. Anyways. Feel free to check kill count after. Told me to press stop. I asked if you didn't have a HUD or not. Kills don't matter. Wow. This guy. This guy is an asshole. I'm never joining his lobby again. I revived someone and did more objectives and killing than you ever could have. Streaming, by the way. He has spent more time bitching than killing. This guy, dude. Oh, have fun without the space I'm making. You guys can't handle it. You need my help. I'm sorry, but looking at that kill count, uh, I don't know. What am I supposed to do with this? The bags are getting taken away. Oh no, that's the that's the beast part. Never mind. I was like, how can they take the bags right away? Inspire is more important than sniper skills. Yeah, okay, I'll remember that one. Like, I'm all for inspire too, but like, hello? Hello? Can anyone find some logic in this person? Because I sure shit can't find any. Well, you had your chance to shine. Time to get kicked because I don't have Inspire. I should have been using an LMG or a rifle. I know I'm gonna get kicked at the last fucking bit. I, I have a feeling. All my work and done. There's like 40 fucking cops on the map. Those are just the ass. Dude. This is all yikes, man.
I'm sorry for going down once. Man, I had confidence in him, my dude. Okay, I'll put this run on YouTube and shame his fucking butt. If I have to. I mean, yeah, he's low level too. I'm low level as well. Big Bank is one of those heists where you can easily get a no crew down on. Oh, I'm carrying money. Whoops. Hey, Yankees. We're good? I think we're good. All right, let's go make some space for these guys. All righty. Let's go make some space. All right, where are we? Uh, that's messy. Oh, I saw my Joker. I do. Did it say loot or elevator? No, that's the bus. Okay. Taking it nice and slow before I jump head first. Why are we taking everything over there? Here, let me flow a flashbang for you guys. Well, those flashbangs have definitely helped. Uh oh, put him in custody because I didn't have Inspire. Oopsie. Oopsie. Made a fucky wucky. Oopsie whoopsie. Made a fucky wucky. Okay, let's make some space now. Well, the bag baits might come in handy. There's so many fucking healers, dude. Oh, that's not good. We're best uh, GTFO, as the cool kids say. Why so many bags? They want a bus. We're gonna go get a boss. That's not good. <laughs> I have no SMG. Yes, run for me. Run for me, my dude. And we're getting them. Thankfully, I have a Joker that is giving team more support. That inspire. Also, is probably pissed because he's dead. Well, I'm sorry, dude. That flashbang was nasty. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's finish this. Let's finish what we got. I have one flashbang left. Oh no. That's a bad spot to be in. This damage reduction is getting insane. I can't one click anything anymore. Winters is busted. Winters is busted. Kinda like that spot. Well, we gotta get moving, dude. Let's type in more. So, no XP reduction. <laughs> Can we punch through this many cops with your guys' DPS? Probably not. Um, not a good idea. Not a good idea. If I had my other Berserker setup build, I would say probably. It's not worth it. We have the escape here. So let's take the escape here. 
So, what I say about pressing tab? Like, dude. Like, dude. Fuck that guy. Fuck him. I had at least a Joker converted. Right? So, like... This gives space for the team. I was clearing the angles in the front. I had the proper breakpoints for a 225 zeal shot. And I played relatively smart. You like you can play without inspire. I'm all for inspire, don't get me wrong. But like I'm gonna boast my dick here and say, yeah, of course. I'm doing more work than him. More kills, more objectives, and less bitching. That guy was just Fuck that dude. I understand, like... I have even have, like, in my own lobbies, DSOD, some, sometimes one or two people run without Inspire, and that's fine. You can still succeed with a heist. We just displayed that. We just displayed that. I only died once because I was typing and I didn't see a guy behind me. That was it. Like, if you know map and positional awareness, you can do things relatively fine. I still understand there's bullshit in the game, and that's why Nine Lives still exists. But I had Die Hard Basic. Threw a flashbang, killed as much as I could, and saved the guy in the front. However, the other dude that went out in the open, in front of the front, that was a dumb play. There's no way I'm going to be able to revive him without, you know, killing the snipers, the medic dozer, and whatever spawned next to him. That's just, like, what are you doing? Like, what Papega shit are you fucking doing? <sighs> Fuck's sakes. I mean, like, if you want to talk shit, at least bring something to the table. The other dudes were doing more killing than him. Yeah, sure, they went down more, but they were doing more than that danger hose person. Unbefucking livable. The other two were awesome. I think they were the MVPs. But as for myself, if danger dude Mr. Hosty Hosty Boasty wants to be all toasty woasty, fuck him. He wants to inspire so bad better than sniper skills? Fuck. That's just cringe. Big Bank's not that hard. Refer to my DSOD guide. Where is it? Hmm. What does Kev Kilt say about the DSOD guide? Let's see. Um, dentist. There we go. Yep. Scroll down. Mm-hmm. Big bank. Ah, it's about normal difficulty. Hey, you don't need anything. Standard heist. Easy channels, hallways to kill, spawn trap. There you go. Sniping is strong here. Oh, well, what do you know? Why is sniping strong here? Well, look at this. We got inward channels, outward channels, and you have full lane visibility. Guess what? Same thing inside the vault foyer. Channels and spawn trapping visibility. Um, and all this other shit. Like, this is... Big Bank is easy to me, but I put it normal because most people can't succeed. Hi, I was in your lobby. I was doing better than host, to be honest. You were! Nightfall, the, uh, you, were doing way better than Danger. Way better than Danger. Far better. And I can point out all the reasons. There was a lot of mistakes that it was, I could easily say, don't do. <laughs> But there was, there was problems. There was problems. But like, this is easy. What we should have done was Thermite as well, but we were smart enough with the beast. Person without Inspire should probably have DPS, and guess what? Had DPS. Made space for you guys. I think I did my job. <laughs> he wants me to do it oh my god that'll be funny